The lecture this video will be discussing is the one given by Alexei Asimentiev on the physics of genes. This lecture occurred on November 17, 2016. One of the most incredible things about DNA that was just reiterated from what we learned in biology and life science is how incredible it is that we are just made of long strands of molecules. We are just atoms. And from atoms and simple building blocks, we become complex living beings with thoughts and personalities, and we can do so much. And all of this is because of DNA and intermolecular interactions. The new thing that I learned was how physics plays into how our DNA works. Our chromosomes are made of strands of DNA that are millimeters long, but because of the intermolecular in interactions in our cells, each chromosome is wound up super tightly so that all of our DNA can fit inside our cells. These interactions and the differences between DNA sequences between two people are what the speaker is studying. He told us that completely unrelated people share 99.4% of our DNA sequence, and in that 0.6% lives what makes each of us unique. And those differences are, ha are what will allow personalized medicine. But studying how to fold DNA, what they call DNA, DNA origami, and how to detect certain DNA sequences, scientists can personalize medicine to do what seems like just about anything. As a last note, something I think is so cool is DNA origami, so please go look up some of the things scientists are creating. It's beautiful and fascinating. The interatomic interactions in DNA strands that allow them to be wound up and together really, really tightly as chromosomes is that there are ions in the nucleus with the DNA that act as binders between the strands of DNA. So since DNA strands have the same charge, they don't want to be anywhere near each other. So the cell has ions floating around in the cytoplasm that allow the DNA strands to get really, really close together because of that extra charge, opposite charge, on the molecules inside the nucleus. One of the things the speaker studies is what kind of ions are in there and the best kind to have. Another thing he studies is how DNA strands can be modified to allow for, condensate, for, for condensation of the DNA. And all of these things allow the DNA strands to become more and more tightly compacted within the nucleus, allowing, them to, allowing it to take up less and less space.